Hey Mac Geeks, it's Adam. In a recent episode of the MacCast, I talked about using iMazing to transfer and manage Minecraft maps for Minecraft Pocket Edition on iOS. And since doing that episode, I've received a number of questions from you on exactly how I did that. So in this short video, I thought I'd cover a couple of techniques for managing Minecraft maps for Minecraft Pocket Edition with iMazing. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to copy a map from one device to another. So what we have here is we have my iPhone and I'm going to go in and show you that I've got a couple of maps in here. I have one called the Cliffs that I want to move to my iPad. So if we go in here you can see this is a pretty interesting map. It's got a village, it's got some cliffs and a really cool looking waterfall and I want to be able to play this on my iPad but I don't have this map installed over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this map, I am going to use iMazing to actually copy this map over to my iPad. So I'm going to switch over to my iPad here just so you can see that on the iPad, when we go into Minecraft, there are actually no maps installed here. You see under Worlds, all I've got is Create New World. So I'm going to take that world from my iPhone and move that over to my iPad. So we're going to use iMazing to do that. So this is the iMazing interface. I've connected my iPhone here and we're going to go in to the apps section and we're going to look for Minecraft. And when we find Minecraft on the list, we'll click on that and you'll notice we can go into the documents folder in Minecraft. And as we drill down, we're going to go into games and then we're going to go to com.mojang or mahjong. I never know how to say that. Minecraft worlds and then you can see I've got a number of worlds here and they're a little bit cryptic so you'll probably have to click on the one to find the one that you want click on level name and I'm just tapping the space bar to bring up a uh, spotlight view and I can see on this uh, level name dot text file that this is the cliffs level so what I want to do is I want to take this whole entire folder and I want to copy it to my Mac and so here I'm just moving it into my downloads folder by simply dragging it and dropping it and you'll see in iMazing it's going to copy that over to my Mac. There's also a copy to Mac button. You could use that and pick a location for that to go. But once you have it on your Mac, then it's pretty easy to transfer that over to your iPad. So I've also connected my iPad. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect to the iPad. I'm going to click on the apps. I'm going to find Minecraft in the list. Click on that. Go into documents again. Go into games. Into com.mojang. Into Minecraft worlds. And you can see I have no levels here, as we saw earlier. So now I'm going to open up that same downloads folder in the Finder. I'm going to simply drag that level and drop it right into the Minecraft Worlds folder. It's going to copy it directly onto my iPad using iMazing. And that's really it. Now what we should be able to do, that this level, now that this level is copied over into the documents, and you can see, just checking the level name here, it's the same one, the Clips. So we've now copied that directly onto the iPad. And now we should be able to go back to the iPad, open up Minecraft, click on play, and we should see that level there. Sure enough, there's the cliffs level. You can go in and you can see now I've got exactly the same world transferred from my iPhone over to my iPad. And it's perfectly playable, very easy to do. Um, you just need to make sure that what you're transferring is a Minecraft Pocket Edition world because... Um, they have some limits as opposed to standard Minecraft worlds that you might find on the Mac or the PC. But as long as it's a Pocket Edition map, it should go. But now say you found a map online that you want to install into Minecraft Pocket Edition on your iOS device. I found this site called MinecraftMaps.com. It has some really cool Pocket Edition maps. And again, remember, you're going to want to look for Pocket Edition maps. And I downloaded this one called Traders City 2015. So I just downloaded this to my Mac. Right there was a zip file. I went ahead and unzipped it so that I had a folder. And this is going to be the folder with all of the level data and all the information for that Minecraft map. And now what I want to do is use iMazing to actually transfer this onto my iPhone so that I can play this on my iPhone. So once again, we open up iMazing, we connect the iPhone, we go into Apps. And then when this loads up, we're going to go find the Minecraft app. And again, we're editing directly on the iOS device itself. Go into Documents, go into Games, go into com.mojang, 
Minecraft worlds. So this is very similar to before. You can see our two levels that were there already. Now we're going to go to the downloads folder, open this up in the finder, and simply drag and drop the Trader City 2015 map into the iOS device using iMazing. And once it transfers, we can see it in there. And again, all the level data, all the database information. Now it's installed. Now we should be simply able to launch Minecraft on the iPhone. You'll see that here in a second. And you can see this map is now loaded and completely playable. And we can explore around. We can look around and see all these really cool buildings. And this one was directly downloaded from an online website. Once again, I'll just remind you that you can try different Minecraft maps, um, but really you want to look for pocket edition specific ones because there's some height limits, there's some block limits in terms of the size of the level. Uh, I've tried loading other maps that are PC or Mac edition maps, and while they do work, sometimes they'll get cut off at certain areas. So it can be a little bit iffy, but you can see here, we're totally exploring around inside this map that we downloaded from an online source. So pretty cool, pretty easy to do using the iMazing app. Um, I'll have links in the description down there to where I got the maps, how you can download iMazing, but you can see this works really, really well and you can do it all without a jailbreak.